Hello everybody, this is TechCut, and in this video what I'm going to be doing is checking out some of my favorite terminal-based system monitor applications for Linux. Now, a couple weeks ago, well, a couple months ago now, I uploaded a video going over seven awesome utilities, terminal-based utilities, and it's garnered a lot of interest in the last week, so I figured this would kind of be a follow-up to talk about some additional system monitoring tools that you might like for the terminal because since uploading that video I have discovered a couple new ones that are absolutely awesome. So without wasting too much time let's make myself a little smaller and open up the terminal. Now the very first one that I'm going to briefly touch on is the first one that we mentioned in the other video and that is HTOP. HTOP is definitely one of the most popular terminal based system monitors it is absolutely wonderful. You can see all my processes here. I have a lot of things with OBS going on right now that is using up quite a bit of my system resources, but that is to be expected. Up here in the top, we can monitor our individual usage per CPU core. You can see your tasks, your total uptime load averages, your memory usage. So I'm using 4.39 gigabytes out of 32 available. If you look down here, you have a couple different things such as help, setup, search, filter, tree, sort. Uh, you could kill applications through this. I went through all this in the other video. Uh, if you go ahead and hit F1, you have a screen here which will go over all of your different hotkeys that you could do to go ahead and switch things around. On the CP usage bar, uh, it tells you what's going on, uh, whether that be a low priority application, normal, kernel, and virtualization stuff. Same thing with memory, used, buffer, cache and it goes over some of the uh, used total percentages and things like that. Uh, just an example, I give an example in the other one, but let's uh, kill an application. So here I have FileZilla open, and if we go over here, we could find it. So uh, just popped up there for a second. So if we go, we have Termite, which is the um, this terminal emulator that I'm running right now. And if you can't find it this way, you could obviously just search for it. So F3, and I want FileZilla. Uh, which brings up and highlights FileZilla right here. So in order to actually terminate an application, what we're gonna do is hit F9, oh, hit F9 again, hit enter, and that will kill that application. So it's a really good basic system monitor. I've been using this one a lot on my uh, little media server over there, this laptop that I converted into a media server, just running with this open in the background, and it looks beautiful. But the reason for this video is to show you these two other ones I found, which uh, this next one I'm going to show you I think is just a little bit better. Now if you're in HTOP you just hit F10 to quit as it says down below. And the one I'm going to show you now is called BPY Top. So BPY Top. And if we open it up like this you see it has a cool little intro. It shows you how everything's loading up. And overall I think this just looks way better. Everything is much more organized and it gives you a lot more information as well. Um, for example, the more information it gives you, if we look up here, we see our Ryzen processor with all of our different cores. Not only does it give you the uh, load percentages, the average load, and everything like that, like you'd expect, but you can see it also gives us the CPU temperature for every single individual core. Now, depending on your drivers and sensors, this may be a little bit accurate. I'm pretty sure that this is only giving me one temperature. As you can see, everything is 58 or bouncing around around there. So that is really nice. It allows you to actually see the temperature of your CPU. And then you have this bar right here, which goes over the full utilization and temperature, as well as the current speed that your CPU is running at. Just like HTOP, it has the functionality to be able to go through here and uh, check out all the different applications. One thing that's cool about this is it actually has mouse support. So you could go ahead and use your mouse to go ahead and scroll through this. If you're a peasant like me and you can't wrap your head around using keyboard shortcuts for everything, this is a really, really nice functionality to have. And speaking of different hotkeys, they do actually make it really easy to be able to actually use this and understand what the hotkeys are. For example, if we go over here and we see disks right here, this is my uh, all my different disks in the system. Uh, it tells you how full they are, so you can see my main uh, IO is at uh, about 33%. Then I have my, not IO, it's root. My uh, projects is at 30%, uh, that's my boot, zero. Media is 98% full. 
back up 63. But what I was getting at with the um, the hotkeys is you see here discs, you can see how the D right there is uh, slightly shaded darker. That is the hotkey to view just the discs and view more details details about the discs. And if we go G, you could go to the graph. Um, right here, you see mem, there's a little two there. If we hit two, it will bring up only memory. And there's so much more you could do with this. Uh, if we go over to mem menu, which is uh, shift M, capital M, uh, we have options, help and quit. If we go over to help, this will actually bring up all the different keyboard shortcuts you have available to you for this application. I said I've been using HTOP on the server. I've been using this since I discovered it and it's absolutely, um, I just think it's beautiful because I have the screen open all the time and it's good just to glance over and actually see what's going on with the processes on the server. But you can see here, there's uh, options such as the uh, toggle CPU box, mem box, net box. So if I actually go out of here, hit escape and escape, it'll bring us back to it. And I think it was three that brought up just the, oh, this is just the processes. Maybe it's two, no, that's memory, four. As you can see, I'm still trying to uh, learn everything, but you can bring up just like the network graph, that's what I was trying to do there. Uh, if we go over to options, we actually have a lot of different things we can do, such as changing the theming of it. Um, so you have the theme colors here and you could change the boxes shown and which ones are available, the update milliseconds, draw clock, you could show battery, so if you're running a laptop, it actually looks really cool. There's a little uh, indicator to tell you how uh, full your battery is or how much battery life you have remaining. And then from there, you also have more specific settings within each individual section, such as CPU, memory, network, and processes. So this is definitely one worth checking out. Just a quick note, I will have links to everything that I'm discussing in the description. This is the GitHub page for the BPY top application, which is the one I suggest you all check out. It's absolutely beautiful. And I just barely touched on all the different things that you could do with it. You have uh, information on the theming, the full set of features here. Uh, it can do just about anything that you'd uh, expect a system monitor and troubleshooting utility to be able to do. Additionally, you can see here with a uh, Macintosh, if you're actually running or you have Macintosh systems, you can run this if you use a uh, terminal alternative, and there are some different uh, dependencies and prerequisites that you are going to need on your system. I also have a link to the HTOP website here, and a link to the next thing we're going to look at, which is glances. So if we go back over here, and I'm going to go ahead and escape out of this, so just quit, we're can, we can then open up glances. Now glances is not nearly as pretty as, in my opinion, neither HTOP nor the BPY top. Was it BPY top? Yeah, BPY top. It's not nearly as pretty, but it has some great functionality. This one's really good because it has uh, some troubleshooting features and it will really highlight certain applications or certain things that might be going wrong with your system. Just like with all the other things, this has basically what you'd expect. It has a very basic CPU monitoring thing. It doesn't go core specific, but there are a lot of different options in which you can actually change a lot of these uh, features and exactly what's going on here. Uh, you see here that it has the disk IO, so it gives you your read write speeds right here. The uh, exact file system usage, so it does give you a little bit more information uh, out of the gate when it comes to your disks. Uh, you have your sensors here, so this is my uh, temperature, so it does give you an option to view your temperature, and you can see that it has the TC, uh, TC1 sensor, the TDI sensor. Speaking of, I do have a separate video on different applications that you could check out if you are looking to monitor your uh, CPU temperatures within Linux or some other utilities, but honestly, these programs right here work absolutely fantastic. You go ahead and look up here, you have some more information about your CPU, your user system idle, uh, your memory usage, your swap usage, and your general load, as well as all the different um, processes going on here. If I use these over keys like you see me doing, you see I'm switching between CPU and memory, it'll actually organize the processes in order by the most consumption. So you see here, OBS is obviously using the most amount of CPU, and because of that, it is displayed in red instead of green. If I go over to memory, it's basically the same case, but it does switch up some things quite a bit because uh, Firefox is taking up the second most memory. 
but it is not taking up the second most CPU power. Um, like I said, I just lightly touched on all of these. There will be a link in the description if you are interested in downloading and checking these out. I hope you have a wonderful day. I would like to thank my Patreon supporters. I got three of you guys now. Thank you guys so much for supporting my content. And if you would like to support me on Patreon, there will be a link in the description and I would appreciate that. There's some perks and stuff like that. But if you cannot or do not want to do that, giving this video a like, leaving a comment, telling me what some of your favorite terminal applications are, and making sure you're subscribed to see future videos would be more than enough. I hope you have a beautiful day and goodbye.